one way of of putting it from a certain kind of uh, certain kind of angle, but right, uh, right, de- definitely in other ways, that is our life. You know, our, our life experience that is our reality here, and it, it certainly isn't to minimize the time we have with with people and the lessons we learn here. You know, right. it, it, it's uh, it's definitely kind of a metaphysical, uh, philosophical kind of conversational space to kind of say yeah you know it's uh it's a the hang-ups or the traps or whatever else mm-hmm. but yeah definitely the life experience i mean eventually turn does turn us inward i mean that's kind of i guess what happens is we eventually get so frustrated <laughs> seeking that solution in the world we somehow you know rest or give up you know, just like the story of Buddha, he eventually gets so tired that he kind of gives up. Sure, Which sure. what happens, he comes into himself, and in that moment, he then discovers his link to this other life, this other blossoming inside himself. And yeah. then he doesn't seek anymore. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's exactly uh, that's a, that's a good lesson and also, I guess, something to... Uh, well, again, that that's about the perspective we were talking about to kind of have that as a as a meme or or a you know a little reminder when things do go what we consider to be wrong you know in our lives we can always go back to that that this is you know part of the journey is to to make mistakes and to to do things that aren't you know always the <laughs> you know the best thing but the the good the good thing about that is that we if we are aware enough, we can discover that we did choose the wrong thing or that we made that mistake. And, and that's the, the first step, I guess, towards, uh, you know, correcting it or, or choosing another thing the next time, you know? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you describe it exactly right. We just have to keep moving, you know, that's just keep rolling, keep keep uh, evolving through that experience. And that that is it. That is the journey, you know, no... Especially if you're working on it, you know, there's no uh, serious judgment there or any kind of, uh, you know, you have to make those mistakes, you know, right. like let's take take uh, <clears throat> learning a task or learning like, you know, myself, like a musical instrument, you know, if you don't make those mistakes, you'll never get to the result of being able to play successfully there and confidently. Yeah. I mean, you ha- you have to make tons of mistakes and and the best students are the ones that can release uh you know not get so down or or not let the mistakes uh hurt them really bad or or beat down their spirit but that can just learn from it and 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 turn it to their advantage you know and just Mm. just keep doing that over and over and over not letting the mistakes uh get them down but uh learning and moving on moving on that's one of the big zen sayings to walk on <laughs> <laughs> nice um you know you were talking about remembering uh before and and also about the you know what, what you term the, the astral level so to speak and in regards to mm. to remembering um do you think that uh, the astral levels and what we kind of take with us from that level or or I don't know how to phrase this exactly but to think that that is something that kind of spans across several lifetimes meaning that we have you know <laughs> a lot of baggage maybe to to handle Definitely. or deal with you know yes yes that's exactly it that once we unravel this life then we tap into all that all that unfinished business and we have I mean that's basically what we get we have the opportunity and this is this is a quite a tall order you know to become awake to become aware to sort all your your one life issues out and then mm-hmm. to start taking on the issues of your whole journey here your whole time in this earthly realm all all those lives right. because part of part of this life i mean you got to the way I look at it now is I barely isolate this life in my reckoning. I just see it as one phase. You know, I mm. I don't think of myself in terms of just this life much anymore. You know, you, you look through the whole thread of life after life after life after life, and some of what you're dealing with in this life are the repercussions or, you know, just the echoes of all those lives, just mm. the car- ongoing karma, because essentially, you know, the form dies, the body dies. But 
big part of ourselves just continues to to you know i look at it like they orbit the earth and you come down and Mm -hmm. then back out and then you orbit and then you come down and back out and then while you're orbiting you can fly up a little ways into some of the astral realms have experiences here and there talk to different people experience different phenomenon Mm -hmm. and then you come back down you orbit the earth and then maybe take another body have some experience you know and if you get really tied into the earth experience you might orbit faster and you might take body and then you die you take body take body take you know over and over and over <laughs> but essentially you have uh continuity on uh, on a higher level or a different plane of existence you know it's just that uh, external form mm. you know, the form just takes matches the place of experience it's an earth body for an earth experience and you know 80 years could be like 10 minutes you know hmm. it's just uh well i guess some people I, I guess some people actually would say that you know uh, a, a lifetime you know goes by very quickly in a way i mean it's it's weird but uh, again time i guess is, is is you know uh it's very difficult to kind of pin that down uh and 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 a lifetime might might actually seem very very short you know at at the end of the day so to speak i don't know Yeah, yeah, or at the end of your life. I mean, sure. you hear from a lot of old older people that boy, where did the time go? Or time just flies. Right, or right. You know, when you when you're standing at the threshold looking backwards, well, at that point, it's going to all seem to have evaporated pretty damn quick. It's going to be gone, you know. And and you wonder what happened, what you know. And that's that's part of the call to being present and aware now because it's essentially. You know, they sometimes say it's like an emergency or the house is on fire or like now. You know, that's like, so you know, you bring it to that point of where now is it because we don't know about tomorrow because it does. This opportunity slips away. And and that whole process of becoming awake, becoming aware, dealing with what's happening and trying to take back up that soul journey the lessons of your greater journey not just the few lessons of this life but all those lessons i mean that we we have to get at that work and get at that work now if we want to make any progress because it's a tall order you know it's hmm. not necessarily uh you know a piece of cake to sort through all that stuff and <laughs> and to uh uncover and deal with the reality of all that stuff you know because it, sure. it, it's a lot to take and you have to get used to being in tune with it and conscious of it you know as well with that space i mean that's really the getting that space if you want to remember your past lives or get psychic perceptions or connect with entities or space is it you need the space in order to observe that which comes in and kind of see where it came from and see the message there and uh, kind of interpret it or or, uh, meet it at the surface without uh changing it Mm -hmm. you know you you just see it all you know where it came from and you just make it part of how you move forward Mm -hmm. and And again, we, I guess we could tie back to the idea of, of what is going on today, considering that many people, you know, don't have even enough time to, you know, keep up with their own lives right now. Meaning that, how the heck can they have time to, you know, you know, span, you know, g- give time to to uh, to something that, I guess, for most people is is very abstract and and, uh, uh, you know, yeah, as I said, they, they basically don't have time for their own lives right now. Um, so so I guess. You know, the question is, is it only you that can make the time and and kind of, you know, I, I guess this is also about controlling, uh, you know, your own life or taking control of your own, own life because it, because in a sense the the planet and what is going on here right now is kind of like a circus and it's just you know going <laughs> round and round and round and and you have to you know, <laughs> you know step off once in a while and get some perspective, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, definitely you could say that, and yeah, you have to. There's just no way around it. You have to take that time for yourself, you know. Right. I mean, for your own, because it's it's going to catch up with you one way or another anyway. If if you don't think it's important or you don't value it, you'll probably burn yourself out a lot sooner anyway, because it's just a part of mental and physical health to rest a little bit, you know. Right. It, sometimes 
that kind of thing has been almost like judged against but restful time and time to yourself is ultra valuable because then it makes all that on time more effective anyway operating on a higher level because you'll have clarity you'll have peace you won't be disturbed by a thousand and one other things you'll be able to operate at peak efficiency i see what you mean so it's 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 almost like you can uh well i guess if you if you kind of working or whatever you're doing with a constant level of stress the the uh you know the chance of that you're going to make mistakes for instance is going to be a lot higher uh meaning that you actually get less and less done the more stressed you are but if you can face away from that and face out from that and and uh, f- find a little bit of, little bit, a little bit of, uh, inner peace now and then and you could potentially become more efficient for for the times that when you actually do need to you know uh work a lot or or uh, you know get a lot of work done basically you know yeah, definitely, and it'll be more inspired work because right. you'll have that that uh, feeling of wellness and that connection to your own life source, which inspiration comes from. You know, you can't manufacture that kind of a thing. You can't force that kind of a thing. You have to nurture it like uh, <clears throat> you would uh, taking care of a plant. You water it, get it sunlight, give it time and give it attention and it will surely grow it's really that simple in a way you know you do that and it it will it will happen it it just will yeah you know it's it's uh it's just value valuing it enough that's where you get the time is from valuing it realize you know not you know a lot of people don't want to take someone else's word for it And until they see for themselves that it has value. And that's why there's a million different pathways to that awareness of that value. Right. Like we began the program with because then something might speak to somebody in a way which will open that doorway, which will then make it possible for them to come into all these other places. You know, they just have to find a link, whatever the link is. Right, right different things will meet up with them at their time that's why we just sprinkle the seeds out there and see what what happens because once they're out there it does its own thing people (laughs) come to what they need uh the moment will meet them you know the moment i guess when it comes right down to it the moment meets all of us with exactly what we need yeah all of it's all there so there's no it's there's no need to look elsewhere it's all there Right, right, and um, it's it's almost like a well, it's a it's a kind of a interconnected, you know, it's it, it's about the mesh of synchronicity, and and when the when the time is right for 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 you or for anybody else, that's gonna come along, and and I guess that the the universe in a way is gonna find a way to uh, nudge you in the correct uh, direction when when necessary, you know. Yeah. And it may, you know, it may not be exactly what you wanted to experience either. You <laughs> right, know, sometimes, right. sometimes it's a pretty serious nudge. <laughs> right. You know, but maybe, I mean, that just shows you that, I mean, there must be something there to be had. I mean, to, there's a reason it's nudging you. <laughs> right. You know, that what you find is very. It, it it really opens you up to a whole whole other place, a whole other experience. <clears throat> I mean, it's you know we go round and round trying to describe it or point to it in some manner or another, but there is a reason for it. You know that when we feel it, when we connect to it, it is powerful and fulfilling. Exactly, um, and one have to find their own style so to speak uh, you know again getting y- your own way of, of uh, you know attaining awareness or getting more in tune with the with, with the piece or getting that perspective that is necessary um, the only person that can figure that out is is uh, yourself you know yeah i just while you're saying that i was thinking man it's it's an individual cosmology there you go <laughs> basically 